So, I'm back with uh, Let's Try. It's uh, the last uh, game from uh, the Steam Next Fest demo. Kind of triggered this one, and I also saw the show on Games Done Quick. The first step guys did uh, play this game. Live Stained Curse of the Moon. It looks interesting, right? Um, and remap it and stuff like that. Uh, you can only increase it to by four times and it's uh, something a little bit lower than 1080p uh, yeah just a little bit uh, uh, less than 1080p at four times uh, scaling window or full screen mode um, not the best option but there's something at least and as you can see it's locked to 60 frames what it looks like not taxing on the gpu or the system at all I'm gonna close the afterburner here. I've done, uh, as you can see, just a quick start up there on that one. Uh, this one a lot until you finish the game. You have a casual mode that I saw them use on the first step here. But it seems to be quite a short game actually if you're running it on casual. I'm just gonna start in veteran to see how it goes and how it feels. Yeah, log to 60 frames, not the best thing, but let me close this one down. And not having like a 1080p, 1440p option, uh, a little bit of a sad, and you cannot manually resize this, uh, this window. Um, using the same kind of classic font here, it's a little bit more easier to read than uh, laws of the... Uh, uh, I even forget the name yet. But I'm not uh, super uh, bothersome about the story here, I'm sure it's something, but... A retro NES game was more about the gameplay. Not th nothing wrong with having a story, but you know, uh, I'm fine here, so I'm gonna... keep ahead a little bit here. Get to the gameplay. Looks very similar to Lords of Exile, or was, was it something like that? Graphically, very similar. Both in like the, uh, the sound palette and everything. Seems like I need it. Okay, I cannot tweak the audio settings, that sucks. I'm gonna go into Windows Mixer to quickly tweak it. Uh, volume Mixer here. Never understand why you are missing just basic stuff like that. Maybe this is better. So I cannot balance the music and the audio effects. So when you jump, you cannot control your jump. You can jump up or forward, and you are committed. It is. You stop every time you attack, unless you are in the air. And a little bit like Nina Gaiden, maybe Castlevania also. You can destroy this one for something. Right, it looks like I have... Uh, well, I did watch the first step guys play this. I know quite a lot more than in a normal Let's Try. Or good and bad, but it looks really fun. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's a good prize so far when it's on sale uh, for like five or five euros uh, the full price that uh, are more like uh, whoop, uh, 10 euros uh, might be on the bit on the high side for a game that on the casual oh okay uh, the on the cat Damn it, that on the casual mode might just take you one, uh, one and a half to two hours if you are, you know, uh, familiar with this type of game and have played a little bit of that. So, the five hours I think it feel is fine, but uh, yeah, maybe not the. Unless you really like this game, maybe the 10 euro to 10 to 12 euro price tag is a little bit on the steep side, unless you really are into this style of games. Uh -huh. 
seems fairly smooth, 60 frames works, but it's nothing too crazy, it seems. Yeah. Don't think I can get that. Oh, we're not sure. That's the thing we need to do. So I know that I have a sub weapon that I can use. What is this one? Okay, so that's that one, okay. And you can see to the top right there that my mana, oh, oh, the mana is the weapon, I guess is how much you can use it. Seems I can use sub weapon with the Y button. However, that will require weapon points. Destroy lamps, perhaps I can find a magic potion to restore. Okay, yeah, yeah it's just telling you about like, the basic stuff here. Okay, so that's... Oh, okay. Ooh. Not sure what the red bags does if it If it had, a, if it has an, any impact at all on the game itself, or if it's just, uh, you know, hey, get the highest score if you wanna for yourself. Ooh. That is just like I wonder if it's the same developer that made Laws of Exile or not. They, they seem very similar. Or maybe it's just some kind of Castlevania with the falling lamps thing there. But it is very familiar. Okay, cannot go that. Maybe that. Since I've seen the first step guys finish these games, I know there is a character that can slide. So maybe if you can do new game plus with your all your characters, get more value for your money. Maybe there could be something. Possibly. So in casual mode you will not get knockback you have infinite lives. I have three lives, so I'm probably not gonna make it. <laughs> Need to really... Oh wow, start paying more attention to health and carefully. This is not going well for me. seems to be pointing to go right. I can't go left here. I'm gonna die here, so that means I lose one life. I don't think I have continuous, do I? Probably it's 100% game over. Oh, thank you for that, help. But yeah, probably it's game over and return to the start. This one seems to be mana or health and is that's... Oh, that's weapon. I'm gonna try with this weapon I have. There's a boss coming up, I've seen this, so... I don't remember all like the boss's patterns, but I have uh, remembered this a little bit. Let's see... Cool boss! Thing. Pretty nice. You're supposed to like do this. Ah, damn it. Okay, that sucks. So that will not work. I could not dodge that. It sucks. Ah, damn, that could have worked. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna die here, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, it did. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, these are a little bit, like, very interesting to dodge. A little bit slow speed compared to 
your moment speed for my liking on that one. <laughs> okay, that's supposed to happen, yeah. But this sub weapon was not the best choice for me. Maybe we'll get the game over and we can see what that happens. Okay, and you restart from this part. the whip sub weapon I probably wanna keep that that's weapons I don't think I need want that one wow and that's one life yep it is we're gonna see what the game over is maybe I'll do a, a little bit of a let's try on the casual <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Definitely, if you you can get more work for your money for the and like whoa, ten uh, to twelve dollar uh, euros price tag if you play on the diff more difficult settings here. But the casual one might. I did not need to do that. Wow. The casual one might be uh, more of a just fun experience if you're not into exactly this more unforgiving difficulty. <laughs> because of yes, the preference thing, so good that you have both options. The spawns <clears throat> um, from these lanterns actually are fixed, so if you want to go fast, you probably can memorize them. Yeah, it definitely feels like that. Might be wrong, but it feels like they are fixed. Nothing bad about that. <laughs> let's see if we can make it through this and the sound. Maybe play to you like a game over. See what's gonna happen. I do like b prefer bosses that has. Um, the pass a uh, the pass a uh, health bar. It's fine. This works too. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Okay, I think that might be the boss. Oh, oh, oh it's phase two. Oh shit! Okay, that actually hurt me, okay. I remember this, but I forgot it in the moment. I kinda crazy that you can get killed by the boss on the final one? Hmm. Oh, your lives are refilled. Uh, that's cool. Uh, I like it if you have infinite uh, continuous, but uh, only three lives per like level, I guess. I think that would be really cool. Difficulty for the normal uh, playthrough here.
Oh, she's an ally. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to act surprised. I've seen this. I know this. <laughs> um, with the new ability, it's blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Switch, please, switch. Okay. Okay. Orc in the path where I can't, can't determine the story. I follow the remains of the fallen adventurers to lead me in the right. Okay, so the green one is pointing me into a good direction. Is the game telling me? Is it the game lying? I don't know. Okay, right, exactly. If the ally die, you lose that ally. Do I lose a life also? Each time that appeal appears when destroying lives can only be used by this by a certain person. Okay. Okay. So the character that I'm using uh Well, you can even do it mid. Yeah, this one can slide. Don't have any weapon power. With I am um, slide. Okay, it it tells me that. Okay, so that's nice. I like this um, this ability. Overall, so far, this has felt just a little bit more polished and a little bit more nicer than the uh, that one down. Um, compared to Lord of Exile, what uh, the name was, you know, the Steam Next Fast one. No, what it is. It's a much more polished. So that is either mana, health, or that. Uh, Some weapons are the blue ones. So, sub weapons are blue ones. So if I don't want to switch sub weapons, I should refrain from getting a. Um, oh. Okay. I should refrain from hitting like a blue lamp. You really gotta remember that. Uh, When you commit to yum, you commit. You cannot. Yeah, that's a forward. The other one, I think, is three up. This one is telling me to go this way. Should we trust that guy? Water. Long whip here. Good weapon. I also have my sub weapon to use. There we go. And this I think is upwards daggers. It wants me to go this way. Ooh, okay. So pits are insta that we gotta remember that, but if I'm falling into a pit, I could switch to this character, because I feel this is a more powerful character at the moment. Yeah, okay, that is an up flash. That's the weapon refill. Yeah, it feels very nice, very polished, very good here. Very definitely a nice little Castlevania vibes. I did not play a ton of Castlevania, so maybe the whoa, the absolutely best to uh, judge that, but. From my memory and everything I've seen, uh, it feels it has uh, definitely a, a vibe of Castlevania and classic retro nest style. Okay, that seems good for this one.
Oh, I can't go up, so I have to... Again, I wonder here if I could replay this with New Game Plus. Maybe you can. Interesting one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, wow. is some kind of oh more mana right that's what it is that's definitely really needed Mook. <laughs> that's a nice i like this sub weapon they feel everything feels really nice so far very polished okay he has a little bit more hp i think they share hp so Oh, I get a new sub weapon. Not mean to do that, but all right. Okay, I did not pay close attention to my health. So now I don't have that character. So that's gonna be rough. Oof. Oh, I see how I'm supposed to dodge that. That's pretty good. Oh shit, I took a ton of damage there. Yes, there we go. That's how you dodge that. We and that one. There we go. Tricky one. Yeah, I see that coming. This is really the other. This I can see this being something that you might not enjoy, but um, really like utilizing your different characters is going to be uh, quite a good thing. to die with that one so that's not good uh, but if I do this we get that one I 
I think this is saved. That's good. I'm not sure if the hammer is the best one for this, but that's what we are going for. Come on, let me switch your character. Come on, switch. Yeah, that's the spot. There we go. Perfect. One, two, three, and run! Oh shit, okay, that's not what I meant to. Ooh, that's not good. Did I take damage there? I'm not sure. Yeah, having the right character makes a ton of a difference here on the bosses, right? Uh, so you might like that or dislike that. It's fine so far. Um, and my lives get refilled, right? And my characters are... You get back your characters if you lose one at this point. Um... Okay, so they're trapped, and you free them and help them. Okay. <laughs> right. Alfred, with the new ability, I mean, if I used to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We know that one. This probably teaches his new abilities, right? Buster Rod. Yeah, okay, his special weapons are right here. So he only... short jump. About the same jump, right? That's a weak little... What is his first weapon ability? Does he have one? Oh, is it the circle of... Uh, yeah, I think it's the circle of fire here. That's his first ability. Wow! Holy crap! Whoa! That was a quick death. He has very little health. HP. Um, huh, I couldn't hit those up in the roof there. That's uh, kind of unsettling. Whoa. How am I? How? Wow. Don't know. Oh my freaking god. I don't know how to dodge those. Ah. How am I supposed to dodge those? I don't know, I have no idea. I, 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 yeah, I don't know how to dodge, I don't... Hmm... What am I missing? Very weird enemy. Uh, the only thing that I can think of is that they wanted me to use uh, the new... You know... The new ally? And his powers, but... Uh, 
Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think that's a great... Uh, like, every character should be able to dodge basic enemies. I don't see how I'm supposed to do that. Definitely I'm not sure how this one should be able to do that. You hit the... Uh, yeah. No clue. If it's something like that I have to do, I don't know. I, I honestly cannot see what the, the game is telling me I can, how I could dodge those. I, I don't. And this sucks because now I lost um, one of the, you know, the Alice. And they are uh, actually required in some ways to get uh, secrets. Uh, so... So yeah, that kind of sucks. First thing that I don't really agree with the game. I hear this again. I I, I don't know. I, can't, I have no idea how to dodge that one. Oh my god, I'm just gonna die here because of that enemy. Ah. I can't dodge it. I don't... What am I missing? Like, it's a basic enemy. Every single character should be able to defend against a basic enemy. So what am I missing? How am I supposed to do that without relying on power-ups and stuff like that? And, um... If you cannot dodge it, with your like basic like, and a uh, basic character, uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna say. That's crap. Really dislike that. Hmm. I'm gonna die here again because I don't know how to. Right? I, I, yeah. No, I can't. I can't see. Uh, Like this one is oh but I cannot get to this one. Okay, I need Yeah, I need all my characters back. I'm gonna have to try to see what this is like. Uh I'm gonna show you what what I mean. So being right here and his special ability. Now you can just do this, uh, you know, and... Uh, yeah, that's just not good, and unfortunately I think I got a different ability here. Oh, right. Yeah, don't... That's, this is not what I... There we go. Not a terrible one, but... I do need to save this uh, dude. That's good. Yeah, this is the oh wow, okay, that's my bad. This is the only way how I know how to do that. Come on, you are Freaking shitting me! It ended right when I... I'm gonna kill myself here again. I want that one because I think it's an upgrade on that place. Yeah, let's just go for it. Man... Yeah. That enemy from the roof is the first enemy where I feel like this is weird. And not something I enjoy from the game, right? Because I still, I'm trying to figure out how do you... How can I hurt that enemy any other way? And I don't see how. 
I don't see how I'm uh, supposed to attack that enemy that falls with any other than Alfred and that specific upgrade also, right? Which is uh, quite something else. That works too. That one. I'm gonna keep with this one. You know what? Let's try this. No. Yes. I think this might be better. Cannot get over this one. I okay, no. a tricky one. I guess I can use Alfred again, but I wanted, but okay. Hello? Uh, what? Oh, wow, I have zero. This, that's not good. Um, meaning I cannot use Alfred. Okay, we... Oh, for frick's sake, sometimes this fixed the... <laughs> oh, this fixed the arms can be quite a pain in the ass. But it is what it is. Um... This is gonna be a tricky one. You need more. Nice. Don't know how to get that one though. Don't think I can. V. 
we need more HP, we cannot use that one. Uh, do you have all the weapons that I... Oof. That could be a good one to have. You know what, let's... Oh, come on! Oh, both of these ones are dead right now. Pretty much. Okay, so it seems like this uh, gives me uh, lives, maybe, at the point. So that might be the reasoning for getting that. Okay, that's good, but we need... Hello, what? That's good. I need more HP for this dude. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is why I want to go here, so I could get that one. Okay, that's interesting. Do we have... Wow. I'm not sure about what this boss is, not which one who's best here. I remember a little bit about this boss, so maybe I can get something going. Okay, that's my bad. <laughs> I was trying to some um, strat to uh, do something stupid. I guess. Let's see if we can get this boss, and that might be a good time for Let's Try. Uh, Easy one. Oh, whoa, what's happening? What? Am I taking damage? I don't think so, hopefully not. 
would suck to get to, to kill the boss and then take a lot of damage. I uh, do think we get a new... I guess we can go for a little bit longer for Let's Try right here. So I can show off the next uh, character. Do -do -do -do. I wonder if you can skip talking to him. Just like him. Go on. Probably not a good idea, but... Here you can mash through these boxes. That's good. Summon darkness. Mortal metamorphosis with Y button. Uses weapon points. Right. X. Okay. Less. Uses weapon points. Oh shit. Okay. That's. Ooh. Okay. That's gonna be something. So this does not use weapons points. I don't have weapons points, so I cannot... Uh, you can pretty much fly with this character. That's an interesting attack. Maybe not the best, I don't know, but... Interesting, nonetheless. Okay, so that one will... Yeah, yeah, since he cannot get... Uh, weapon, I believe that every blue... Will just drop uh, mana when you are in this character. That can be good, because you can switch... Or you can, uh, in a good way, kind of refill... I guess that you can, what you can do is this. Here you can fly over it. Can I? Yes. And you can also do that. This is a cool character, definitely. You don't want to lose this character, I feel like. And you can use this to go pretty fast. I probably should try to get uh, a weapon for uh, to do two of the characters. That's not what I meant to do, that was... A bit. Wanted to jump. Hm. So far this uh, cat has been really whoa, 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 great. Oh yeah, so he's not great for like the rats. Because he can't really attack the bottom. Whoa. Need to be careful here. Oh, I remember this. Uh, I need to do... So I cannot get that one right now. Okay. Uh, you need the ice thing to get... Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe I can... Maybe? Yeah, you cannot kill that one if I remember correctly. This seems good. Mm. 
I guess I could have used this one also. Taking it slow. Trying to. Oops, I should have switched. To try to not lose my too much character and just progress here. Uh, going to not go for too for long more. I do want a different weapon for this one. Yeah, uh, is it? Yeah, it is. It's this one. I think this is like uh, what it seems like, uh, like a buff to uh, damage. So that's a really good to have. These upwards attacks is definitely very useful. So the only thing is if I want to swap. This one needs more HP also. Um, the only thing if, is if I want to swap weapon for this character. Maybe. Then I gotta remember that if I get HP dropped, uh, switch character. Oh, right, we can go this way. Mana, that's good. Ooh, ooh, la, 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 that was not good. Oh, this one works good for that enemy also. I'm low on HP. I'm not low on HP. <laughs> um. Can get to that. Do I want to get to that? That is the question. This is a good combo I have. I would like to keep this one. Needs a little bit of HP. Oh. Boss? Oh, I know this boss. I know how you can do some cool stuff with this boss, maybe. Um, I've seen this on the first step. I agree with them about that. That's cool. So, you wanna do that? Oh shit, he died so fast. Oh shit. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do this in a different way. That sucks for me. Oh, perfect. Full HP on everyone. Ooh, that was a close one. Choke now, man. I do have full mana. I want to do one thing here. I want to use his special, and that can carry over to the next one.
What? Holy crap! Oh, I had to attack this one. This is this phase. We got about that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Whoa! What? What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> not the, f the controls is not working well for me here. I should just give up here. I'm not gonna make it with just these two. Well, that's not what, even what I wanted, but okay. Right. They even give you this weapon uh, because it could be a good weapon for this boss. Hmm. Uh, but I can't really use any sub weapons. I don't have the power for that. That's a new attack. Okay, so I probably should switch to this character. But I'm dead here, I'm pretty certain. I haven't game over yet, but that's interesting. So it is pattern based, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, you can stand. <laughs> there we go. Not the difficulty boss here, it's just, you know, the patterns and memorizing. It's a, it's a fine boss here, yeah, I can nothing against this boss there. Yeah. So far the only thing that in this game that has been like, what? Is the enemy dropping from the roof? Because I don't know how to attack that enemy using any kind of uh, character. It's the only thing I really felt it would. Um, and like this difficulty, yeah, it's fine. I don't know what's gonna happen when I quit. Hoping this is like a save point here. Right, so if I quit out here, then I can get back here and I can maybe do one more video or two more videos just finishing this game in this difficulty. Um, obviously, a lot it's going a lot easier since I did watch the, you know, the first step guide from this game style quick. Play this through on casual so I got some hints and tips, uh, you know, what might work and stuff like that. Not remember every pattern of the boss and uh, stuff like that, but you know, some basic stuff, uh, movement tech here. Yeah and ab about the ability of what might be good for certain things. Um, but yeah, for the price, um, if you're into this one, the original price around 10 to 12 euros and dollars, might be on the steepest, it might be accepted, but if you're not in really into this uh, genre of the games, might just be a little bit steep. But then again, when it's uh, on sale for you know four or five dollars or euros yeah definitely you know it's like it's like a large bag of uh, you know chips crisp or and like a soda you know so it's nothing for like one hours two hours three hours worth of fun 
your casual fun. Definitely more than well worth it. But on the casual settings, if you are into these games, if you played a little bit, I seen you know like again the first step guys. They did it in like one one and a half hour. Uh, just first time getting into it, so it's not on of difficulty there. And even here on the normal difficulty, uh, it's not a super struggle. It would maybe struggle a little bit more if I haven't seen some of the pure game mechanics. Um, but I, I think I would have picked up on most of it pretty quickly anyway, so... Yeah, let's exit out. I want to see what's happening here. There's no manual save or anything, so... Um, you will return to the screen. Any progress you have made on the current state will be lost. Power and blah blah blah. Yeah, so this should be fine. Let's see if I, I do game start. If I start exactly like on this on this place here. And we are on the final kind of stretched towards the end of the game here. What it looks like and what I remember. Yeah, perfect. We are right back here. Um, I even keep my power-ups and everything. Perfect. Uh, stay tuned, you know, the end of this game. Probably, hopefully. Uh, you know, the Kirby and the Samsung Odyssey is gonna come up. Um, I wanna try this second one of this game, but I'm probably gonna wait, like, do this game. Toss in, like, Kirby or something else in between. And then follow up with trying uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. The, the sequel to this one. So yeah, that's a plan. You know, like, su uh, subscribe, comment or something. If you like, feel like that, check back to the channel if you you know want to see what's coming up there. Let's rise and the Kirby stuff like that. And have a great day till next time. Uh, bye.